Let me hit the ground walking, not running. Let me start over. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to tell you about a little pizza predicament I had last night. Remember I went and got that pizza and brought it home? I'd already eaten my bowl of slop. I opened up those boxes and one of them, this it was the same price to get three toppings instead of two. So in addition to pepperonis and bacon, I asked for extra cheese. When I opened that box and saw you could barely see the pepperonis and the pieces of bacon popping their little heads up out of that cheese. They were underwater swimming in all that cheese. Flour covered in cheese. No wonder pizza is the number one most addictive food. There's a little statistic for you. My nine-year-old son was watching my eyes and he saw my eyes go from one pizza to the next and then land squarely on these two pieces that I wanted. And as kids came and grabbed pieces, no one was taking those two. It's like they were staying right there for me. And I started having thoughts of eating them. And my son, who very much cares about me, but also he knows I'm earning him a tally reward. So he's like, mama, how many tallies do you have? I'm kind of surprised he doesn't like slip chocolate into my purse or whatever to create tally moments for me because he wants his gift. I am earning, I'll show you. I am earning a gift for Franklin. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 45 more and Franklin gets a gift. So yes, Franklin does want me to um, earn tallies, but he also cares very much about me. And he said, Mama, you're doing really good. He said that while he sat there and ate his pizza. I said, thank you, Franklin. What makes you say that? And he said, because I saw you looking at that pizza. I had already eaten my dinner. Yes, I was dealing with some ghrelin, but oh my goodness, the cheese on this pizza. He saw my eyes like, staring at these two pieces. Barb Ravling's book, Freedom from Emotional Eating. I see this pop up every once in a while. It's so good. Jill, I'm so glad you ordered it. Debbie, I'm so glad you're reading it. Um, she teaches us to recognize the lies that we believe by truth journaling. I had one huge lie in my mind last night when I was getting closer, I was inching my way towards eating that pizza. To the point where I was like, couldn't I, couldn't I just eat these two pieces? And trust me, with this type of accountability, with eyes on me, I could stop at two pieces. Normally I couldn't. I think it was Sonia that said um, that she is a crystal baser because she couldn't take a few sips of an icy. Guys, I probably couldn't either if I didn't, if I wasn't doing this. But like knowing I've got eyes on me, that puts me in a danger zone of thinking, I could probably just have a little because I probably could. I could probably just have two pieces because I don't want to tell you I had 10. I personally have some things I'm navigating right now with this type of accountability because I, I could believe the delusion that I could just have a little because in some ways I could. But here's the lie. It's not, the lie in my mind was it's just two pieces of pizza. It's just two pieces of pizza. Well, bright line eating is not one big heavy weight. Following this program, it's not one big heavy weight. It's lots of little tiny details that add up to the overall significance of it. So it's all the decisions and there are studies that show we make hundreds if not thousands of decisions every single day. Pivotal decisions that send us in one direction or the other. If I had eaten those two pieces of pizza, I could have come over here to my calendar and drawn a little piece of pizza, but then what would that mean? Would that be a bonus meal that I'd have to put there? And what I realized was, oh my goodness, look at this data. I just had a bonus meal and popcorn and a few sips of icy. If that were here, that's only, oh my goodness, that's only three days ago that that happened. Ultimately, ultimately, what really got me to decide not to is the T word. I realized I was being tempted to eat it. It was not a genuine desire. It was not the right thing to do. It was not 
a God-given desire, it was a temptation. And I tell my kids, if you feel tempted, don't do it. Listen closely. You'll hear yourself say the T word. Oh my goodness, I got these shirts on sale. I'm so tempted to go back and get another one. Then don't. Or, oh, I cannot believe he said that. I'm tempted to call him and tell him. Then don't. If you hear you yourself use the word T, the T word, take that as a gift. That's an indicator right there. Don't do it. If you're tempted, don't do it. The, temp the definition of temptation is the urge to do something you know you shouldn't. Um, and we all know who the tempter is is. Um, so I ultimately did not do it. Hallelujah. Praise God. I earned a few tally marks. I'm so glad I didn't do it. And again, Barb, Barb Raveling's book, Freedom from Emotional Eating, she teaches us to discern the truth from the lies. And the lie was that it's just two pieces of pizza. It's so much more than that. It could be a gateway behavior. It's clearly, I have the data and the calendar right there to see that it, it, could become a pattern. My sponsor used to say, we don't want a hiccup to become a relapse. P.S. Franklin also said, Mama, remember, you'll be in your body your whole life, but you'll only be in this moment for a little while. Pearl, you look so nice. Nehemiah, 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 Esther, 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 kitchen table, fence top of washer, poster board, hand soap and Cheerios, pottery wheel with Clara, and deposit a check. <laughs> Cooking in Pam spray for me and oil for my growing kids. For today, for tomorrow. Have a slice day. No. Tally. Welcome, Heather and Pamela. Pamela, I, I'm sorry. Sometimes YouTube doesn't give me notifications, so I see you wanted to join a few days ago. And Heather, hey, Heather said she is ready to wave her white flag and stop using her white knuckles. Amen, sister. Yes, we've got to surrender, have support, and strategies. Surrender. If you've done that, you're a third of the way there. Support. You know you have support here. I hope you all have support in your personal lives. Maybe you've got a buddy you're doing with this. Maybe this with. Maybe um, Bible study, church, um, Facebook, any school, teachers. Rally. Recruit some support. Also, strategy. Susan Pierce Thompson's vlogs are so excellent. I cannot even tell you what all I've learned from her. Um, of course, my videos here. Um, strategies. There's um, Atomic Habits, that book. I hear a lot of good things about that book. And um, of course, the Barb Raveling, Freedom from Emotional Eating, Surrender, Support, and Strategy. I am locking myself in this bedroom until I get these five chapters of Nehemiah read. Change of scenery. My pest control guy is here because Mary's been getting so many mosquito bites. He thought maybe it's bed bugs. Oh my goodness, I pray it's not bed bugs. I'm about to find out. Good news, he said we're in the clear for now. I'm struggling my way through reading all these names, thinking about how I'd like to have a snack, Tally. Done. I put a little heart to show where I left off. Clara went to Nana's. I've been outside fencing waiting on my husband to get home to maybe take me out to dinner. I just found out he ate lasagna up at his mom's house. I'm going to go in and make myself a guilt-free bowl of slop, satiating leftover perfection, and then with that energy, finish these chores. Okay, I just love when this happens, and I know it's happened to some of you all because you've told me before. I just took all my leftovers, dumped them in a bowl, and it came to 14.0 ounces. I literally take that as affirmation, God telling me, good job, keep going. Leftovers came to 14.0 ounces. Done. I got so much done today. The old me would have celebrated by punishing myself with a binge. The new me is going to celebrate by pampering myself with a good night's sleep. Good night, guys. I love you. I will see you on October 7th.